Pips is in the wings. I'm Debs. I'm the assistant stage manager for Measure for Measure and Amy the Shrew. And this is a little taste of what we get up to backstage. So here we are in the stage right wing for Measure for Measure. We have one of our lovely props trundles here. They are excellent because you can literally close the doors and wheel them off and then when we move to different venues everything's in the same place. As you can see we have all of the props from all of the shows stored all of the time and they are all labelled and they're colour coded so red is for measure for measure, yellow is um, table is true and green is as you like it. And then if we look out of the door you can see some of our mahoosive vans and this transports three sets, all of our props, all of the costumes, everything that we need around the country with us. Cut to a corridor. So as part of the shout check, I go into all of the different dressing rooms and uh, just make sure that props that start in costumes and everything else are where they need to be for the top of the show. Cut to a dressing so room. So in here I'm checking that Lucy has got her rosary and her cross, which she does. Um, so that's all good and then I know that that's there and then I can leave. This is the DSM position. So we have the um, prompt copy. So this has got all of the information for all of the cues that happen in the show, which is called by the lovely Alice. And part of my job is, is I also learn how to do this. It's like patting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. You have to push these lovely buttons, which all light up. Deb's press is some of they light up. Um, and you also have to speak uh, and tell people when they need to go. Some of the scene changes in Measure for Measure are quite busy, there's quite a lot of different things happening, we have things flying in, we have people going on stage, we have music happening, but Alice is a pro now because she's done it loads and she's got a lovely little set of monitors from which she can see all the sort of different angles of the show, infrared, so when it goes into a blackout she can still see what's happening. Cut to Debs in her dressing room. This is just, you know, me catching a break, having a little bit of lunch before the show. It's in the half now, so Got about 20 minutes to have to go upstairs and do some actual work. Alice looks up. What time is the quarter? <laughs> <laughs> So we're just making our way up to backstage at the beginning of the show. Lee, get some food. Lee's going to get some food because um, she is very busy and important and it's important to stay hydrated and eat at all times. Um, this is some lovely corridor shots so I hope this is the kind of content that you wanted, Amy Shrug. Loving your work, Debs. <laughs> Alice is at the DSM station. Some of you stage management, technical staff, watch one wicks. Flyers for copies of fly keys one and two, and stage staff for copies of fly keys one three five. It's your part one beginners call. Thank you. Whoop whoop! Here I am, I'm checking in my like beginners backstage. So that means I have to make sure I've got all the actors that I need for the well, show. And they are slowly gathering in the wings here, which is lovely. We're back at the DSM station and you can see Alice calling the show. Hannah, Egg and Debs are in the wings. Members of the stage crew help Hannah and Egg push a table onto stage. It's quite a tight corner and the table is quite big. Next up, we're going to have Graham rushing off stage in chains as Mistress Overdone. Me. Yes. Can we get the chains into the bucket? Yes. Yes. Please whistle, 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 Tom. World, no. Not only moments ago, before we were about to go on for the opening of the show, can't leave this quiet. This here sanitizer on my head. It's not your really clean head. Very disinfected. In the interval, we do a little reset. So this is Harry. He's coming with the garden chair. He does a rock and roll sign. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. And uh, it's going to go on stage, and then so if you can't leave, you will sit on it at the top of the part too. And he's just getting tangled up in a curtain, and I could help him, but it's way funnier watching him struggle. Harry can be seen placing the chair on stage. He's just got to find the spike marks, which are yellow. Perfect, absolutely smashed it, Harry. Loving your work. Cheers. Anna passes Deb's a hat and some gloves, and yours. then her and Karina take the stage. And on go for the bows. And that's the end of that. Time for an evening shrew show. Cut to depth in the wings. This is shout check. Sword for Gremia. Yes. Dagger with purse and money for Lucentia. Yes, there it is. Uh, dagger for Grumio. Yes. Dagger for Vincentia. Yes. Dagger for Petruchia. Yes. Sword for Lucentia. Yes. Broken loot. Yes. And it's all glued. They examine the broken loot. Oh yeah, I glued it. Lovely. Nice. Uh, in the wing, harpsichord. 
there it is. Another trade secret here. It's it's not real. I'm very sorry, everybody. <laughs> Ooh, no, it's just left. a keyboard. It's just a keyboard in a very beautiful case built <laughs> built by some very talented props makers. Table with lighters. There is our table. I'm using real candles because it's the RSC. Debs checks the candles. Just making sure that they're at least three, three fingers. fingers full of height of candle. So we are nothing but thorough. <laughs> Pot with confetti on the Cooney balcony. Cooney appears. I've not. Yeah. This is the ASM table. Take over. This is... <laughs> Cooney's still in there. <laughs> plate of meat with two pieces of bread. Now, it's not in fact a real plate of meat, despite what it looks like. Bit of theatre magic. Cut to a hedgehog cuddly toy. Harold, MVP. This montage is of Lex and Debs going through all the props at double speed. Now a shout check, which Debs mentioned earlier, is literally when Lex shouts out the props from a list and Debs double checks that everything is there and in the right place. They have to do this before every show. Cut to behind the stage, we see the company of Taming of the True going on stage for the prologue. They're all in costume. Next up, we're in the wings. and Alexander high five. Cover shoes. And I deliver them to Joe. There we go. So this is quite a busy bit backstage. So Aaron and Nick are gonna take the bench on. And then if we pan over here, we've got uh, James and Amelia and Emily getting ready to do their door chains. They run really, really fast. Emily, Amelia and Cooney run in and out of doors at high speed. Amelia is holding a loot. When you're watching this on stage, you don't really see the madness going on behind the set, but it's, it's pretty crazy quick. And lastly, members of the stage crew open the door for Amelia to make a, a slightly calmer entrance. The magic of theatre. So it's the interval of Taming of the Shrew, and we have brought the iron in, which is the um, basically the big safety curtain. That means that we can sweep up the stage and get rid of anything that we need to without everybody seeing. I'm going to go and have a little sit down and uh, then we'll be back for part two. Cut to Debs ticking people off on a call sheet. So uh, this is the point at which I tick in everybody for the top of part two. Debs, you've done an extra, not another yeah. tick. You'd like this? Well, I, I, you know, I like to mix up. Cut to a screen showing Dickie and Charlie on stage. We only have the one monitor screen and I measure where we have the four because there are less things that we, we don't be flying, we don't have things that we need. Oh yeah, let's see the band, the band, yeah. We can see the band on a monitor. Band are having a great time. Cut to Mick. This is where I just sort of hang around backstage with Debs because I come off stage yeah. and I don't really have enough time to go back to my dress now. Yeah. I've got to go back on it a bit. So we just chill. Yeah, sometimes we play rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. They play, but it's just out of shot. Who wins? I win. So going into the final scene, we've got quite a lot of quick changes. Lots of furniture being sent, so we've got people waiting today. This is the most fun scene change of Tame with the Shrew. We're going to set the table at speed and then we're going to light all the candles. And we've only got about 20 seconds to do it before the uh, doors open again. Hold on to your hats. No magic's about to happen. Here we go. Here they go. Members of the stage crew carry the table onto stage. The table is full of food and candles. Go, go, go. Once the table is in place, they light the candles with the lighters that we saw earlier. And that is the table set. Magic complete. Cut to black. Cut to depths on stage. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Cut to black.